In this section, we'll discuss anonymity on the blockchain. Privacy and anonymity on the blockchain are a crucial part of its success in some applications. If individuals or organizations are performing transactions on the blockchain, they may not wish this to be public knowledge. Different blockchains have different levels of anonymity and privacy built into the protocol. As discussed earlier, public key cryptography is at the center of maintaining identity on the blockchain. It uses a pair of public and private keys to make encryption and digital signatures possible. At this point, we need to take a look a bit more into the relationship between a user's keys and a user's actual identity. The first thing to consider is that there is nothing about a public key that ties it to its corresponding private key. We've said that a digital signature verifies that an owner of the corresponding private key created the signature, but that is all that it says. Since private keys are secret, obviously it can't be possible for someone to determine a private key from a public key, at least it shouldn't. If you know a user's private key, you can calculate the private one, but the reverse is not true. The other thing to keep in mind is that private keys are just numbers and can't be tied to a person's actual identity, their real world identity. Identity on the blockchain is just possession of the relevant private key. And even if someone guesses or steals that private key, they can't learn its owner's actual identity from it directly. The original blockchains did not have much in the way of privacy and anonymity protection. You can't tie public keys to private keys or private keys to real world identities, which means that blockchain users have a limited amount of built-in privacy. However, every transaction on the blockchain is public and stored there forever. This means that a lot of information about a user's identity could be learned through sifting through the data stored on the blockchain to obtain the metadata. Based on the repeated transactions to places like a coffee shop or a market, someone could get an idea of where an individual lives and their habits. For businesses, repeated transactions may indicate business relationships that may lead to a loss of a competitive advantage if leaked. On basic blockchains, anonymity only goes so far. The limited level of anonymity and privacy protections available on the original blockchain has inspired development of enhancements that increase privacy while still allowing transactions to be verified and validated publicly on the blockchain. This is an incomplete list of some of the mechanisms developed and implemented in various blockchains. We'll start with zero-knowledge proofs. They use cryptography and cryptographic algorithms to allow a user to prove knowledge of a secret without revealing the actual secret. A common example of this type of proof includes a colorblind person and two objects, identical except for the color. The colorblind person shows one object to the prover, conceals both objects, and then shows one to the prover again. The prover then says whether or not they are the same object, since the only way of determining this reliably is if the objects are different colors. The prover can prove the difference in colors without revealing the color of either object. Another approach is stealth addresses. Stealth addresses involve using one-time addresses to perform transactions on a blockchain. A stealth address is just a one-time address that makes it impossible to link a transaction to a known account. What this does is prevents the data mining attacks on privacy that we discussed earlier. We mentioned previously that transactions are digitally signed. With ring signatures, all that can be determined from a transaction is that a member of a group signed it, but not the particular member. The ability to see who is performing transactions with whom is dangerous to user privacy and anonymity. Protocols like CoinJoin mix several transactions together so that it is difficult to pair senders with recipients. 
Confidential transactions take advantage of homomorphic encryption, which makes it possible to perform mathematical operations on encrypted data. This means that the data contained in a transaction can be hidden from the public while still allowing the network to verify that the transaction is valid. Now, let's discuss how different blockchains implement the various privacy and anonymity mechanisms available. If we start with Ethereum, Ethereum does not currently implement any real advanced options for privacy or, an or anonymity. In the current version, user anonymity is limited to the fact that no one can tie a public key to a real-world identity. This is intended to change in the future, though, and the Ethereum roadmap currently includes laying the groundwork for implementing zero-knowledge proofs. Hyperledger provides several options for privacy and anonymity. At the lowest levels, users can achieve increased anonymity through channels which can further encrypt the data that's stored on the channel using keys only available to members of the channel. At the next level, Hyperledger also allows users to perform private transactions. In a private transaction, data is stored on the cloud, but the hash of the data is stored on the blockchain. This allows users to use the blockchain to ensure data authenticity without storing the actual data publicly on the blockchain. Finally, Hyperledger supports zero-knowledge proofs, where a prover can demonstrate possession of some data without revealing the data itself. These different levels of privacy and anonymity protection gives users a higher degree of configurability on the Hyperledger blockchain. Finally, Corda allows users to perform transactions either as a party or an anonymous party on their blockchain. An anonymous party has the same level of anonymity protection as a basic blockchain, relying on the fact that public keys cannot be tied directly to real-world identities. A party on the Corda blockchain reveals the real-world identity of the user, which intentionally sacrifices anonymity for identity val validation.